We are in the native flora garden at the Brooklyn Botanic Garden, which is one of the oldest gardens. Uh, the goal of the native flora garden is to collect and preserve and grow for display plants that are growing roughly within a 50 mile radius uh, of the New York City area. We not only grow these plants for show, but as I mentioned, we have the New York Metropolitan Flora Program that is documenting all the plants that grow in the New York metropolitan area. And besides, growing the, besides documenting these plants, we also have an interest in conserving these plants. And we work extensively with conservationists throughout the region to propagate some of the rarer plants. And indeed, uh, we have a number of endangered species in the native flora garden and trying to conserve some of these plants in the garden so that it's the future we not only can grow them here, but we can put them back out in the wild in appropriate habitats. Today we're going to be collecting seeds. Many people come to the garden to see flowers, but uh, the curators here at the garden spend a lot of time looking at plants when they're not in flower because we have to collect seeds uh, so that we can have these species for future generations and plant them again. So we're going to be collecting butterfly weed, which is a milkweed species. When we're collecting plants for seed, it's important that we get them when the seed is ripe uh, so that we have a better chance of germinating these seeds uh, later on. This one is, isn't quite ripe yet. It's still a little lighter in color. This pod has already shed all of its seeds and it splits up and on its own. And that's sort of their, your, uh, your indicator of whether it's ready to go or not. We don't want to collect them too ripe, but we also can collect too late and the seeds uh, will, the capsules will open and will lose the seeds. They'll be dispersed. So uh, it is difficult sometimes to make sure to get out here at the exact right time when we can harvest the seeds when they're actually ripe. So what we're going to do is, is start pressing these plants and get them dried and ready to mount on archival paper and put in our herbarium. What I'm writing down on this piece of paper is the Latin name of the butterfly weed. Um, I'm going to indicate the day and the particular part of the garden um, and what bed it was found in so that we can keep that for our records. We usually try to just put all of the seed in there and then later on they'll process the seed and remove um, the silky filaments in this case are uh, what's known as chaff. Um, so all that's left is just the seed. For hundreds of years these specimens will uh, exist. We have to press the specimens to initiate the process of getting the moisture out of them and then we take them and put them in an actual dryer, basically like an oven that's heated to around 100, 120 degrees Fahrenheit and we dry them for a few days. Then they can actually be uh, taken out of the plant press and we mount them on paper and put a label on there documenting when we collected it, where we collected it, and then it goes in the herbarium. The newspaper basically just keeps the specimen in one place and it serves sort of as a little folder for the specimens. Uh, you can use newspaper, you can use special paper without any newsprint on it, but it's pretty much the same thing. And so we, we do so much collecting uh, that we oftentimes just round up newspapers uh, from the local area and use those. Uh, so we're reusing them, uh, which is a good thing for the environment. Uh, the herbarium is, has a controlled climate. It's usually fairly cool, 60, in the 60s Fahrenheit in the herbarium. That prevents too much bug damage because there are some insects that will eat these specimens. And then the herbarium is uh, the place where that plant will remain for hundreds of years later so that many, many generations later can go back and see what we did and what we collected on this particular day.